In this first phase, it is allowed to have imprecisions and the lines could present slight errors. What is important at this level is to take care of the expression of the outlines. Only in the second phase we will look for the precision of the outlines. I try to keep my brush in a vertical position and to execute very quick brush strokes using the tip of the brush. This position and the consequent execution speed allow to avoid patches. It is difficult to spread the color of the cloak because ochres tend to form patches if the brush strokes overlap. I keep my brush in the vertical position as much as possible. This allows me to maintain a precise and accurate touch of the tip of the brush. After a new dip in the palette, the color is very dense and if we do not move the brush quickly, it inevitably leaves annoying dark spots. In the fourth coat, I add a little TerraVert to the formula if the color is too warm. As you can see in the execution phase, an extra pinch of TerraVert is enough to immediately darken the background. Once the graphic outlines, graphia, are done, we pass to the shading with pure azurite, very diluted, and a squirrel brush. It is important to remember that the shadow always includes the graphic line, meaning that even the line must be covered with the brush when we execute the shading. The most extended areas of light can be drafted through ample brush strokes, somehow imitating the way we painted the background coats. It is key to avoid overlaps. In the second step, we reduce slightly the area of the light of the first step, especially in the widest areas of these complex and articulate lights. Through such small trick, we avoid repetition and we better differentiate the two steps. This is what suggests the idea of an artistic execution rather than just a technical one. In this phase, I try to achieve the maximum level of execution and graphic precision while I paint the shape of the second light. This glaze on the clock has become necessary because the compactness of the background wasn't enough. In this final phase of the highlighting process, graphic weight, direction of light and fading away must be at its maximum level.
Here is a further announcement of this very important point of light from which the most important geometric figure of the cloak departs.